Good morning. This is Helen. Today's Friday, February 5th. Um, my fellow Americans, this is the first time I'm trying a live stream. Uh, so be patient with me. Um, today I thought um, I've got something newsworthy to share. Uh, today's the day that um, Mike Lindell, um, the CEO of My Pillow, uh, which is, by the way, great pillow. Uh, I bought a couple of myself, and I'm enjoying them. Um, that he said he has a documentary worth sharing. But I'm eagerly uh, looking forward to see what information it contains, and uh, hopefully you are too. So I thought... Um, I'll just chime in for a little bit and tell you um, this information. And um, well, we're all uh, looking forward to seeing what this documentary reveals. Um, and it's, I'm getting a great message. Um, hi, Zalia, so good to, to see you online. <laughs> and um, happy Friday. I'm glad uh, it is Friday. Um, so, I'm, uh, I'm excited on what's happening. So it's, I think um, we're seeing the light on the other side. So positive things coming our way. Of course, it's just God's timing. And um, so he's, he's patient with us. So we're just gonna have to um, let him do what is his will. And um, and I, I, I pray that I will, I'll have the patience to to wait for the good things to come. And um, um, what else is there besides that? Well, um, there is, the, Donald Trump has his team. I think he's got a great group of people that's gonna represent him. I, I know uh, the Democrats want him to be in the office so they can go ahead and manipulate him more. And uh, hopefully the team will know what to do, so. And then uh, hope, I, I pray God will be on their side as they reveal the truth and everything. And um, for those of you that are Christians, stay strong. I, um, I think, um, you know, uh, sometimes when um, the righteous, when people of truth and people of God might endure some pain, but um, just know that there is good things will come. Remember Job, um, he was tested by the devil, but then God gave him multifold. So he was blessed because he did not, he stood by and did not get the, the devil influence him anymore, which is what he was doing trying to do and that's that's what's happening here we're seeing actually people like antifa um and uh a, a black lives matter trying to make a difference in in, in people god's uh, chosen people or god's people by saying remove a mother father and sister anything that has gender to do with it and then antifa I thought the whole goal was to have Biden in the office, and then even that doesn't satisfy them. Now they have, the, they want, they're talking about revenge. If you feel like you the flag does does not satisfy you and you are not American, then get out of this country, because this is a country of law and order, and um, and and the, it, we all believe in the Constitution and our right. So um, those uh, people that are being funding Antifa, they don't, they don't have the gut to live in this country. George Soros does not live here because if he does here, live here, he will be prosecuted because we believe in the law and order and he does it. That's why he's sending his money here to this country to destruct and destroy this country. This is one country that the whole world is looking up. So please people stand up. And, and do something, make some change so that these people cannot send their money here and fund and and use our children to distract ourselves. That's what's happening because we are so disconnected. 
the, I mean, it started out with removing God from schools. So now our kids don't know God. I mean, and us being busy with work and taking care of family, maybe we're not spending enough time teaching our children what should be the right and the wrong. So they get involved with playing these video games and and the reality and the fiction just kind of blends in and makes these kids desensitized. That's, that's what I feel, because I, I keep having argument with my kids uh, about what games to play, what games not to play. They think it's all a game and it's not nothing behind it. These are just in preparation to revolt from within using our children. So, I mean, those of you that have kids, please talk to your kids. Uh, read the Bible at home. And I think, um, you know, I always believe there is a light at the, at the, at the end of the tunnel. We're almost there that stay strong, of course, pray fast, keep God in your thought at all time. And everything that you do, ask yourself, is this God's way or not? And, um, you know, this is time there. I, I feel sorry for those kids that are born uh, that are not a believer or that, or that worship uh, the devil's way because they don't know any better. I pray that God will, will bring heal their heart and bring them to God's way, and that um, that that's my message for today. I, I meant to uh, talk about Lynn, uh, Mike Lindell's uh, documentary coming out. Remember to look out for it, and that um, I'm, I'm excited and uh, I want to see what it has to offer. And hopefully, um, uh, Donald Trump's impeachment will be will not drag and put us all through another. Um, dramatic a uh, trial like they did before so um thank you all and uh i'm i'm happy to see these messages um please keep me in, keep me in your prayer and keep praying and stay strong god bless happy friday